technically speaking, I am too young to be having a proper <laughs> midlife crisis, but that's what it feels like, guys. I am just at a loss of what is even happening? What is my life? What do I want to do? How do I solve all the stuff going on inside of myself? You know, all the regular existential dread sort of questions that we all ask ourselves at some point in life. The biggest factor though that I think is contributing to me feeling this way is definitely a lack of work-life balance. <laughs> I am that kind of person that if I make my mind up about something that I really want to do something, I go 120%. I feel like I've been going really hard the past four years to be able to make my YouTube channel a profitable full-time job and being so excited, of course, to visit all these amazing places in the world, but definitely burning myself out in the process. Not only is it difficult to not have friends and family physically around for, you know, 10 months of the year, basically, but also having a real lack of routine and being able to have consistent, healthy habits, that has also been a big challenge. I'm very grateful that I have a place like this, this beautiful park near where my mom lives, that I can go for morning walks, just ground my energy, go for a workout, have a healthy breakfast. It's these little things that you take for granted that really make a big difference. So I have decided to stay in Canada for the next few months because I really feel like I need to take care of myself, spend some time with family, and then just also have some downtime to really think about what is important to me going forward. When I'm traveling so much and constantly learning new environments, I definitely have a strong case of FOMO. So I end up doing way too much and traveling way too fast. I don't have really a lot of time to just be because I feel like I'm not making the most of my opportunity then. I've now hopefully <laughs> learned how short-sighted that mindset is because all that happens is that you burn out faster, you feel like crap, and it will take you much longer to recover than if you had just been more caring towards yourself to begin with. I'm also a big believer in the power of habits. You are what you perpetually do, not what you sometimes do. So while it has been hard to regularly work out and eat healthy on the road, I have actually tried my best while also enjoying myself, of course. But now that I'm back here in Canada and have access to a gym, a kitchen, huge selections at the grocery store, it's just so much easier to stick to healthier habits. I think the biggest thing that I've been struggling with is definitely anxiety and feeling like there's so many things outside of my control, so many unknowns of, you know, what the future holds, what this world is even going to be. I know I'm probably unnecessarily making things complicated by myself of, you know, focusing on these things so much, which is why I literally tattooed now on my wrist to remind myself to be present. And it's usually from that clarity that I make much better decisions. Now, another thing that has really been helping me ease my anxiety is a really cool app called Aura Health. They are the sponsor of today's video, but I can say without a doubt that this is my favorite wellness app that I have ever used. Aura Health is an all-in-one app for your well-being and sleep schedule. It has thousands of meditations, CBT guides, breath work, and soundscapes to help you feel your best. Aura's content is created by hundreds of expert coaches and therapists from all around the world, and the app really gives you intelligent program suggestions depending on what you're interested in. My favorite feature on Aura is definitely their sleep hypnosis. I think I have touched on this in prior videos of just personally how helpful I have found sleep hypnosis. For those of you who don't know what it is, it is more or less like a meditation that you listen to as you are falling asleep and it's supposed to, you know, reprogram your subconscious mind and help you get a better quality of sleep. My personal favorite therapist has been Dr. Liz Slonena. She has a very wide variety of programs and I just really like the sound of her voice. It's very soothing, <laughs> puts me right to sleep. So in partnering with Aura Health, I do have a free trial offer for you guys so you can check it out for yourself. You just need to click the link, aurahealth.io slash Alina McLeod. I will have the link in the description. So thank you so much to Aura Health for supporting me in this wellness journey and let me know if you guys try it out.
from downtown Calgary guys. I've come down here today because at 6 I am meeting my friend Katrina to have a nice catch up and go out for dinner. That's another part of me having more of a work life balance where I feel like for this past year I really haven't prioritized socializing. <laughs> You guys know that I'm very much an introvert and I do need a lot of alone time, but I don't need to be alone all the time, if you know what I mean. But until we meet up, I actually wanted to take you guys to a neighborhood that I don't think I've really ever filmed before on my channel. It's called Inglewood. It's actually one of the oldest neighborhoods in Calgary. And in a weird way, it kind of has a small town feel where it has all these historic buildings, all these lovely local businesses. So I figured that since I have a couple of hours before I meet Petrina, let me show you guys around. Now this is not something that I expected to see here in Inglewood. Colombian food, oh my gosh. Hello. Yes, please. This is so cool, guys. I don't think I have seen a Colombian restaurant anywhere abroad maybe that's just me but i don't think i've ever seen one <laughs> if you've been watching my channel for quite some time i assume you remember all of the content that i shot in colombia that was about a year and a half ago and so far looking at the menu here it actually looks pretty authentic like they have a lot of the dishes that i saw you know in local restaurants there bandeja paisa is of course a must definitely a calorie bomb to say the least but of course they have a whole bunch of different arepas and then I'm also very happy to see that they have my favorite dish which is ahiyako unfortunately I think it's only on Saturday so they probably don't have it today but honestly everything looks good take a look at this beauty I got the arepa con todo it is a cheese arepa that has some shredded chicken beef guacamole whole bunch of cheese and a side salad looks amazing so let's give this a try guys i am very excited to have an arepa because i think it has been a year and a half something like that <laughs> since i was in colombia arepas did originate in colombia but uh, a lot of latin american countries have them as well so here we go the perfect bite Superb. Highly recommend. <laughs> I am honestly really impressed. Like this is fantastic. And see this is one of the top things that I love about Canada is that because we are such a culturally diverse country and we have, you know, people from all over the world living here, they bring their delicious cuisine here. Everybody wins. So as I keep exploring Inglewood and make my way to the park they have there, Pierce Estate Park, I wanted to touch on another thing I've been thinking about lately and how there's really a no one size fits all life. Society really tries to indoctrinate us as to how taking certain life paths is the key to happiness and success. While it may be true for some, I have come to learn that there's a lot more to those topics than what we experience on a physical level. 
Of course, having a high status job, money, and a loving family around you helps in creating an opportunity to be content, but not always. Humans are very strange creatures, and I truly do believe that we are all here for different purposes. We are not here to live the same cookie cutter lives, hitting specific milestones by certain ages. It's much more individual, and only you know what's right for you. So that's a thought that has brought me a lot of peace lately, is that knowing that because I'm being true to myself, I'm exactly where I need to be. Well, we made it guys, all the way to Harvey Lookout Point. <laughs> this took substantially longer <laughs> than I was expecting. <laughs> I think if you had a bike, this would be a fantastic place to go for an uninterrupted bike ride. But really lovely area, would highly recommend you guys uh, come check it out if you're in downtown, it's not that far away. But now I am going to head all the way back really hoping there is a bus or something that will take me directly uh, to the heart of downtown because that is where I'm meeting Petrina. But yeah, lovely way to spend the afternoon and you actually kind of feel like you're in nature, not in the big city. at this fabulous burrata that I am splitting with Petrina. Hello. You guys will probably remember her from our Cranbrook adventures that we did last so summer. So good. And yeah, she recommended this fabulous restaurant slash bar called Bridget Bar. Highly recommend. And yeah, I think Summer in Calgary is just such a great time, right? It's like patio season, you can walk everywhere. So nice. <laughs> Next up, we are sharing the steak. Looks so good. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. And we have these as well with ricotta salada and some green goddess. Perfect. Thank you. Yay. So good. I'm so excited. can't believe that it is almost 9 p.m. and it is still this light out. The sun has been setting at about 10 30 this time of year. But this has been a fantastic day my friends. I feel like I actually accomplished a lot today. I did a lot of inner work, a lot of thoughts, a lot of contemplation, some socializing, some looking after myself. It has been a full spectrum day and yeah I just kind of wanted to do something other than just travel for a video and kind of just let you guys know how I have been doing even though it's overall been good there's also been some bumps along the way <laughs> as there is for everybody I'm sure so let me know in the comments actually what kind of stuff do you guys do to just take care of yourself mentally emotionally physically what has really helped you. A very big thank you once again to Aura Health for sponsoring today's video and if you guys want that free trial I'm gonna have the link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video as always sending you so much love and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys!